This is 2012, KCSE paper 2, question number 18, and we are told uh, OABC is a parallelogram with the vertices uh, O00, A2120, B32, C12. Uh, OABC prime is the image of OABC under transformation matrix minus 2, 0, 0, minus 2. Part A, Roman number 1, find the coordinates of O, A, B, C prime. Now, since this is a transformation through this matrix, what we need to do is uh, we multiply uh, this matrix with the matrix that, uh, that is to be formed uh, using the coordinates of A, O, B, C. So we have 0, 0, uh, that is for O, we have 2, 0, that is for A, we have 3, 2, that is for B, and we have 1, 2, and that is for C. Uh, when you multiply this, you should be able to get uh, uh, the matrix that you form the coordinates of uh, A, B, C, O, A, B, C prime. So minus 2 times 0, that will give you uh, 0. Uh, the other one is minus 2 times 2, that is minus 4, 0 times 0 that is 0 so you end up with minus 4 uh, then we have minus 2 times 3 that is minus 6 uh, 0 times 2 that is 0 so we end up with minus 6 and uh, then we have minus 2 times 1 that is minus 2 0 times 2 you get uh, minus two. you add you get minus 2 uh, th so we go to the second row, uh, this will be 0 times 0 uh, and uh, plus minus 2 times 0, that will give you 0. And then we have 0 times uh, 2, that is 0, minus 2 times 0, that will give you 0. So even there we have 0, then we have minus 0 times 3, that is 0, plus minus 2 times 2, that will give you minus 4. And then we have 0 times 1, that is 0, minus 2 times uh, 2, that will be minus 4. When you add 0 plus minus 4, you get minus 4. So th this implies that this is a o, uh, o prime, uh, A prime, uh, B prime, and C prime. And this means that uh, the coordinates of O prime will be 0, uh, 0. Uh, the coordinates of A prime will be uh, that will give minus 4, 0. Uh, B prime will have uh, minus 6, uh, minus 4. And finally, we have our C prime, which will be minus 2, minus 4. So that is how you get the coordinates of that. I'm using that uh, place because of space, because we still have a lot to work on. So we go to Roman number 2. In the grid provided, draw AOBC and OABC prime. So let's uh, do that on a grid. This is a grid that I'm going to use to plot the two figures. I've already inserted uh, the coordinates of the object and the coordinates of the image which we have calculated using the transformation matrix. So let me first of all draw my Cartesian plane. So we have that is 2. Let's say this is a starting point. That's 4. Uh, that is 6. And that is our x-axis. Uh, the other side we have minus 2. We have minus 4. We have minus 6. We have minus 8. Uh, the y-axis we have uh, uh, that is 2. Uh, this is uh, 4. Uh, this is 6, uh, uh, that is our uh, y-axis, always remember to label your axis, so this is minus 2, uh, this is minus 4, uh, this is minus 6, this is minus 8. Now we start with the, we start with the object, uh, that is the first point, that is our O, which is the origin, A is at 2, 0, so this is where we have our A. Uh, that's our A. Uh, we have our C is 3, 2. Uh, our 3, 2, that is our C. 
and our uh, that is our b not c uh, so this is uh, our b our c is at minus two, uh, at uh, one two so one two is there so this is our c so we are going to join those uh, four points to come up with our object so this is our object and then uh, let's uh, now draw the image our our starting point is zero zero does not change a is my at minus four zero so that is where we have our our a uh, let's say that's our a our b is minus six four minus six uh, minus four that's minus six minus four so that is where we have our b and our c is at minus two minus four so that is our c uh, so we join the four points to come up with the image this is our image uh, which we have obtained and i have used uh, different colors so that you can be able to see it clearly but during the exam it's not a must you use different colors you just use your pencil uh, and that is very important to mention that uh, during an exam you use a pencil to draw because when you make a mistake you can be able to rub but when you use a biro pen you may mess up your graph and the, since the graphs are printed on the question paper uh, that is the, uh, which is the same as the answering sheet you may not be able to get another one so let's go back to the question and proceed part b of the question roman number one we are told find o a b c double prime uh, the image of o a b c prime under the transformation matrix one zero zero minus two and you get yourself two marks so what you do you multiply the matrix that we got uh, for a o b o a b c prime with the matrix uh, so we say one uh, we have zero we have uh, zero we have minus two we multiply by this matrix zero zero uh, minus four zero we have minus six minus four we have minus two minus four and uh, when you multiply that you should be able to get uh, this is a uh, zero zero you get uh, that is zero uh, that is uh, one times minus four zero times zero so you get it is minus four so you are you realize that 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 row will not change so we have minus six we have minus two the other one is zero uh, times zero it becomes zero this is zero times four this is uh, my that will also be zero uh, this is minus two times six that is uh, twelve and uh, this is a uh, plus two times uh, four that is uh, eight so when you add the two you get it is equals to eight uh, then you multiply by zero times minus two that will be zero minus two times four that will give you eight so this is our our a prime that not a but o prime uh, o prime uh, a prime uh, b prime and c prime and once you multiply then you get o double prime uh, this is b double prime and c double prime uh, that is uh, we start with o a so this is our a double prime uh, b double prime and c double prime so this means that the coordinates of o uh, double prime it, it remains uh, zero zero uh, we have a double prime we have it is minus four uh, zero then we have b double prime we have it is a uh, minus six eight and finally we have our c double prime whose coordinates are minus two and eight so these are the coordinates of our second image uh, Roman number two we are told on the same grid draw uh, o a b c double prime so we are going to do that on our graph and see how it's looked like so we are back to the grid uh, a 
I have already inserted my coordinates of the second image and I'm doing that because uh, this is just for the purpose of teaching otherwise during the exam since you are working on the same page you should be able to move faster so uh, the origin remains the same point uh, that is uh, zero zero uh, a goes to a double prime goes to minus four uh, zero so that is where we have our a and then we have our b is minus six eight minus six uh, we just modify here that is uh, that's where eight should be uh, so we can add here this is where we have eight so this is our b uh, double prime and our c is minus two eight minus two eight uh, there so we have our c uh, so with that we are going to join the four points to come up with our image so this is our second image uh, and uh, very easy to get that the goodness with the graph paper, uh, question is that you can be able to score uh, full mark very easily so let's go back to the question and proceed part c of the question we are told find a single matrix that maps o a b c double prime onto o a b c so for us to get that let's uh, name our matrix as m uh, n uh, and q p uh, if we multiply that matrix uh, by the matrix of uh, this uh, o a b c double prime that is uh, zero zero uh, that is minus four uh, zero minus six eight and uh, minus two eight it should give us a matrix of our object which is uh, zero zero uh, this is two uh, zero uh, this is three two and this is one two uh, when you multiply this matrix uh, m times 0 is 0, n times 0 is 0, then you should be able to get the matrix 0, uh, that is uh, 0. Mm, the other one is 4 times minus m, that 4 that is minus 4m, n times 0. So your matrix is uh, uh, minus 4m, uh, the other one will be minus 4q, uh, then we have, uh, the other one will be minus 6m uh, plus 8n and then we have uh, minus 6q uh, plus 8p and then finally we have minus 2m uh, plus 8n then we have uh, minus 2q uh, plus 8p uh, which is equals to this matrix that is uh, 0, 0, uh, 2, 0, uh, 3, 2, and 1, 2. Uh, so this is, uh, this should give you uh, the, the, the values of M. Uh, for example, you find, uh, since we are equating the two matrix, minus 4M, this value here, is the same as 2. So when you when you equate that you will be able to get our m is equals to uh, minus a half when you equate those two then uh, you equate uh, minus 4q with zero then uh, you find that your q is equals to zero uh, then you you form two simultaneous equation that is uh, 6m uh, plus 8n is equals to 3 and we have minus 2m plus 8n is equals to 1 those you solve those two simultaneous equation then you should be able to get our n is equals to 0 and uh, our p is equals to a quarter i um, doing that because of space so this means that to end up with uh, our our matrix uh, which is uh, which we had assigned m n uh, q p should give us the value of m we have found it is a half 
the value of uh, the value of n we have found it is zero the value of uh, the value of p is uh, we have uh, the value of q uh, we have found q is equals to zero and the value of p we have found it is a quarter so that is the matrix that uh, will map uh, our first image on uh, our final image the second image on to our original uh, object so that's how we will go about that question it is from the topic uh, matrix and uh, matrices and transformation in form 4 and i hope you have followed in case you have uh, issues you can check on uh, the topic which i have done matrices and transformation and you'll be able to understand more